Welcome everyone to the 11th day of Otera Central Christmas. How, how, how? If you haven't already, make sure you check out the 12th day of Otera Central Christmas. That is, of course, 12 great character ideas for WWE. You should have a lot of fun watching it. But if you don't, you most certainly should today. Today's topic is... The 11 hottest women in professional wrestling today. And it feels like an important video at a critical time in the history of man. With all the man blaming and all the man splaining that is going on in our society today. It feels like men need a bit of a respite to where we could be in a, so to speak, pussy free zone. Not in terms of the vagine, but you get what I mean. We need a place where men can feel like we're men, and then we can go back to being pussy whipped like we usually are. Well, this is your safe place right here, right now, this video. Because, by God, if you want some locker room talk, you're going to get some locker room talk. If you're easily offended, that's tough. The best thing you could do is stop watching this video right now. This probably is not recommended for those under the ages of 18, although some of you probably will watch and be like, Oh my God, I didn't even know those things were possible. They are. They are. Believe me. So without any further ado, drum roll please. Where, where, where? It's time to talk about the 11 hottest women in professional wrestling. <laughs> Be remiss if I didn't mention this, is that there are a lot of beautiful women in professional wrestling. It is true. It is a good place right now for beautiful women in professional wrestling. Most of them aren't in WWE, mind you, but... The landscape is not that bad. The trim, so to speak, is not that bad. Believe me, it's the best that I can remember it in quite some time. The independent scene is doing a bang up, top notch job indeed. So I want to make sure I threw out some honorable mentions of different women that didn't quite crack the top 11, but they could get it probably anytime they wanted for the most part. Faye Jackson. Big, beautiful black woman, you can sit on my face anytime, and you know you like them white boys, and you know what the white boys do. As we know, as the Schleg Daddy has taught all of you over the past seven years, what the sisters know is this one fundamental truth. Once you go white, you know you've been licked right. Nia Jax, sorry brothers, but she makes my list for sure. Y'all could go right back to faffing about her, because you know you are. I feel like there would be some type of revolt against me in this channel if I didn't mention Santana Garrett. So there you go. And then going with more multicultural stuff, Marty Bell, Mia Yim, tag team, individually, doesn't matter, can both get it. Jordan Grace, you might say, well, that doesn't seem to really be your flavor, Schleg Daddy. She's a white girl with a fat ass. What do they say? Pogs, perfect ass, white girls. Ultimately, she gets at least an honorable mention because she did a lesbian-themed wrestling video with Sin Sage. Sin Sage! Congratulations, Jordan Grace, even as honorable mention. You just made the list! Mickey James is kind of that legacy pick. Not what she once was, but she could still get it. She can call me Magnus, Nick Aldis, I don't care. She could still get it. Kayla Braxton, kind of under the radar. From NXT, I'm surprised nobody really mentioned her. So hot. Want to touch your boobies. Maria Canellis, another kind of quasi, um, retro pick. You know, still looks pretty good. And she's a redhead. Kind of do have a little bit of a thing for redheads, believe it or not. Obviously, Naomi could still get it from me. As I've always felt, she married a Samoan because it's part of a natural progression to get to her eventual happy place, which is a white boy, which is what she really truly wants. With that big old fat ass, you could do that booty bust and whatever the hell you call it on me anytime you fucking want. So I just wanted to make sure. And there are other women too, believe me, that didn't even crack the honorable mentions. There are a lot of beautiful women in professional wrestling. So... Even if I didn't mention you, it doesn't mean that the Schleg Daddy didn't notice you. It's just I can't mention everybody. This can't be like fourth grade field day where everybody gets a freaking participation ribbon, okay? But anyways, those are the honorable mentions. Let's get on to the real creme de la creme, if you will. 
my official list of the 11 hottest women in professional wrestling today. Some of you may be surprised that a white girl even made the list to begin with. Let me make this clarification point. Just because I've never had sex with a white woman doesn't mean that I wouldn't have sex with a white woman. And coming in at number 11 is Alexa Bliss. And the reason she makes the list, and maybe to the surprise of some of you, is she really reminds me of the cheerleaders... Uh, that I went to school with back in my high school days, the type that would act holier than thou, that thought they were maybe a little bit better than they actually were, but had some deep-seated self-esteem and other mental and personal issues to where they truly find their self-esteem from taking that cock in their mouth and taking that cream pie. And going back to those high school days of those cheerleaders that used to pick on me, it's I picture Alexa Bliss, and I picture that as my revenge. Oh, you're going to take this right in your mouth. Because that's where you find your happiness. That's where you find your belonging. That's where you find your self-esteem with a little bit of this nut. I first realized who Bianca Belair was watching highlights of the Mae Young Classic and seeing people post about the Mae Young Classic. And I saw this freaking athletic, muscular goddess. The Schleg Daddy sometimes liked those athletic, muscular women, like the black women in track and field. Oh, so hot. Got to have their high knees. Also, see Serena Williams, I rest my case. But there is just something about Bianca Belair, and when she has her hair in that one big long braid, that I want her to get on top of me, smother me, and repeatedly whip me with that freaking hair. I don't know why that is. Oh, I know exactly why that is. Because I'm a nasty, nasty fucking white boy. And that's the type of crap that us white boys are into. She could whip it with me any fucking day. Period. Number nine, Kiara Hogan. Are you guys really surprised that she made my list? The answer you're saying to yourself inevitably is no. With the short little and tight ass body and that red hair there's a lot of sexy a little bit of ratchet and the schlake daddy wants more 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 and Kara if you see this if you are ever in Richmond Virginia or the surrounding area you hit me up and we'll have a good time I'm just saying I'll eat that pussy six ways from Sunday like you've never had done before and deep down you know in the cockles of your heart, that you love them white boys. And believe me, the Schleg Daddy loves them sisters. Sexy as shit, Jesus. As previously referenced, don't get it twisted. Just because I haven't done a white girl doesn't mean that I wouldn't do white girls. And I, in particular, have a bit of a thing for redheads. It is what it is. And I look at Scarlet Bordeaux and I'm like, oh my goodness, so Frickin' hot. Like, if I consistently did white girls, that would be the type of white girl that I would want to do. Just gorgeous. Her skin, freaking red hair, she just looks like a saucy little tart in the sack with enough queen elements to her where you're proud to demonstrate her on the streets as your lady. And keep this in mind, too, is that we all know how much the Schleg Daddy loves black lesbian porn, but what we may not know is I have just about an equivalent thing for, if not at sometimes potentially greater hard on for, interracial lesbian porn, in particular thinking about Scarlet Bordeaux tripping my girlfriend Ashley. Like that is like eminently hot to me on so many different levels. Like, on the one hand, I would want to type part, and on the other hand, I just want to be like, you girls, go and explore your bodies, and I'll just be here doing my own thing. Oh, oh Scarlett Boudreaux, yes. Very, very hot. WWE, the fact you haven't signed her yet is shame on you. I know I give a lot of people crap for the crushing on AJ Lee when I was saying, you know, if you're into the 13, 14-year-old looking girl thing, get your Roy Moore on, I guess. But people used to say the same thing about JoJo, and they were true. She was very, very young when she got into WWE, the daughter of former uh, baseball all-star Jose Offerman. 
But man, as she's gotten into her mid-twenties, she is fucking gorgeous with that little tiny body, but that big ass fucking booty bump that just makes you want to go all up in her ass. I don't even care what you say. Again, I'm a white boy. We do nasty freaking shit. I'm like the brothers that like to have their own asshole lick. If I'm going to go one of the two paths, I would rather be delivering the licking on a clean booty than having my clean booty licked. A thank you, a thank you, brothers. You may disagree and hate on me in the comment section, even though you know I'm right. But you look at JoJo, and I always knew deep down, and it's a radar thing, believe me it knows, outside of just the fact that I believe that technically any black woman could be made to love a white man. Even the ones that are militants rocking the froze and talking about Black Lives Matter. They'll take a white dick just as quick as anybody. But I always knew with JoJo. I just knew. And then when I found out that she was messing with Bray Wyatt, naughty, naughty little bitch, a married man. What are you doing? I know what she's doing. She's riding that white dick like you know she likes to. Ooh, just imagine that gets me freaking worked up. Let's go there. Number six is Lana, specifically silken kind of pantsuit Lana with that walk like she just took a big dick up her ass, so she's got to be careful that stuff doesn't come flowing out. There's just something about the way when she's a heel that she conducts herself, she carries herself, she walks around in that little fucking dominatrix type of pantsuit fucking type of walk. Like, she's the type that you picture wearing leather and having a whip and bossing you the fuck around, and you're perfectly fine with that. Yes, Mistress Lana, we will provide you pleasure as much as you need, however you need it, however you get it. And fundamentally, I truly hope, when we talk about Happy Rusev Day, as all of you should, I hope from one man to another that every time he's on the job giving it to Lana, I hope he busts in her and he says, Happy Roots of Day. There's just something comforting about the thought of that. Because, after all, I'm a sick motherfucker. Whether she goes by Huntress or She-Wolf, I don't care. When it comes to Hanya, all I'm going to say is, ah, 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 Holy hell. This woman is incredible. I almost feel guilty putting her at number five on the list because I could almost make an argument for top three, if not number one. And the top five for me really was truly a tough choice. She's got that Native American heritage to her. Just something about her skin tone, her look is just different. It's sexy. It's gorgeous. Has a banging ass body. Kind of almost like Amazonian in a way. And believe me, there's nothing the Schlag Daddy likes more than those Amazonian type of women that could throw him around and boss him around and just take that shit. I want her to titty smother me. I want her to sit on my fucking face for hours and hours and hours. That's right. Honey, if you're listening, anytime, any place, I'll take your pussy to a special place. I promise you. Number four might surprise some of you. It might not. But I think Rebel is sexy as shit. And it's crazy because she's like 40 years old or something. She looks good. That booty just, again, one of those <laughs> type of situations. Holy hell. But I look at her and I picture her being like an entirely different type of woman for me. The type that lacks to... Listen to country music and shoot off guns and talk about making America great again. You know what? I'd even be willing to go to a Trump rally with her if that meant that I got her in the sack afterwards. Make America great again as I'm busting. Yes, yes, rebel all freaking day long. Like that almost sophisticated yet slutty type of beautiful freaking woman. God, I'd give it to her. Number three, are you surprised that Selena Vega made the list? If you remember when I did this a few years ago, I think it was with nine women, uh, Tia Trinidad was very, very high on the list. She's like a Hispanic Trish Stratus that somebody pointed out to me while I was trying to figure out. I didn't know what it was exactly about her that I found so freaking sexy, but I know I did, and I wanted it so bad. And once that explanation was made, I'm like, you know what? That makes perfect sense to me. And there was something deep down fundamentally, again, I knew just a little 
built-in radar and detector. I knew she liked the white meat. I knew it! And Austin Aries, my hero, has vindicated that. I hope he smashes it on a consistent basis, as he should. Like, I know she's in NXT and she's trying to get her own gimmick down, but Austin, I implore you, she is ready to quit her job and have your babies. But if you are not willing to give them to her, then somebody else shall step in to the mix. And Selena, Tia, I'll put it this way. When you're ready for a white boy that actually eats meat, you know where to come find me. You are gorgeous, though. Absolutely gorgeous. Period. Number two. Renee Michelle. Like, I'm really disappointed in a lot of you that nobody ever brought her to my attention until I asked you to give me some names of some independent wrestling women that I might not be familiar with, and somebody brought this name up. I can't remember if it was Michael Corvin or it was somebody else. Whoever it was, oh my God, I thank you. Because this little vixen, this little hibbit gem is ungodly beautiful. Like, so ungodly beautiful. Like, she's the type of woman in wrestling that I would try to wife up. This is the one that you buy flowers for, that you buy chocolate for, that you try to make sure you did everything right by. The one that you couldn't wait to bring home and meet mama. Renee Michelle is that type of woman. Unbelievable. Just absolutely, incredibly gorgeous. Like, wouldn't even want to talk about doing nasty things, even though deep down you know you would want to do every single nasty thing imaginable with this beautiful goddess. She is a goddess of professional wrestling. I would argue too beautiful for professional wrestling. But absolutely, unequivocally, wife material. You don't want to just have sex with her. You want to make love to her. You want her to have your children, not just be your baby mama. You want to spend your life with this type of woman. Number two, Renee Michelle. I guarantee probably the most underrated hot woman in professional wrestling by a mile. Oh, Renee, you are gorgeous. Don't ever let anybody tell you otherwise. And even with all of these beautiful women in professional wrestling that I've referenced and some of the ones that I haven't that deserve some mention that I just didn't get around to, I feel like number one is so obvious. And granted, this is all just like my list. It's all about personal interpretation. It is opinion. It's about taste. It's about flavor. And deep down, you fundamentally know what the Schlag Daddy's taste and flavor ultimately is. So you kind of had to know where we were going with this. Like, I wouldn't even need to tell you who number one on my list was for you to probably be able to guess who number one on your my list was, although some of you might have thought I went in a darker direction, which is usually you would say where I would go. But not always. Not always. But number one is Brandy Rose. Brandy Runnels, whatever the hell. Brandy is number one, period. She is the personification of of wife material in professional wrestling. She is so beautiful as a black woman that you could take the most racist redneck and he wants to sit there and go against his entire family in their clan meeting to wife her up. Cody Rhodes, you lucky, lucky son of a bitch. You knew she liked the white meat. You knew you liked the dark ladies. And it came together. And honestly, shame on you, Cody Rhodes, for sitting there going to New Japan and hanging out with Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks. You got fucking Brandy at home. I realize sometimes she comes with you. But every moment you're in the wrestling ring is a moment where you're not giving it to her long, deep, and repetitive. And that is a shame. And I love animals just as much as anybody, believe me. And I understand the love of taking in dogs and such. But you realize that she loves these dogs and is a way to compensate for the fact that deep, deep down she wants nothing more than to stay at home and have your babies. Give her some lisping babies, damn it!
It's like the one thing you have in life to do, Cody Rhodes. Screw the world titles, screw ROH, screw New Japan, screw everybody in WWE, and all you should be doing is sitting at home and screwing Brandy Rhodes, because I know myself and anybody else, the every chance we possibly got, we would do everything we could to give her babies. It only seems right in this world that she would have babies. This... It has to happen! But she is so beautiful. I feel like great personality. Always put the other women on the WWE roster to shame and she was the freaking ring announcer. Like, with all these other beautiful women, I truly feel like Brandy Rhodes stands out as just a little bit of a cut above the rest. Cody Rhodes, get to work! Put a baby inside her is what she wants, baby! Well, there you have it. My 11 hottest women in professional wrestling today. If I found any of them in my stocking, or any of them wrapped up under my Christmas tree, believe me, it'd be a great day for the Slug Daddy. And if any of them wants to do that, hey, we can be Santa and Mrs. Claus. How, how, how? Yes. So again. That was the 11th day of OTRS Central Christmas. Make sure you check out the 12th day of OTRS Central Christmas. 12 great character ideas for WWE. And next up will be the 10th day of OTRS Central Christmas with a topic to be determined. So check it out.